Hey, if you're a Logic Pro user and you need to export multi-tracks, let me show you how to do it. First, you want to highlight either the loop or your full song. Then you want to go to export all tracks as audio files. Now here's where it's very important that you follow these steps because I've gotten sessions from people who use Logic Pro and like the levels are all off and I end up having to redo their rough mix before I can even start to mix their stuff because it's like I'm trying to match what they did. If you want to make sure that your rough mix is matched and it's exactly the same as the exported stems, you have to do this. I'm going to select export cycle range only. That's why I highlighted it. So export the cycle range only. I always make sure that's wave. 32-bit float. Do not select 24-bit or 16-bit. This way, let's say you have an instrument that goes above 0 dB. Let's say maybe your kick is, is hitting hard and it's louder than 0 dB. 32-bit float is going to make sure that it's not going to clip. I use Pro Tools when I mix, so when I import it, all I have to do is gain gain everything down if it's going above 0 dB. But it's going to maintain the relationship between the instruments if I gain everything down together. Because if you do 24-bit or 16-bit, it's going to clip everything off, and I'm going to get it, and it's going to be distorted. So you want to do that. Include volume and pan automation. You want that because that's going to make sure that the levels are going to be the same as how you had it in your rough mix. You want to include the volume and pan automation. And normalize, turn this off. If you have this on or the overload protection on, it's going to normalize each multi-track to the wrong level than what you had it at. So a lot of people leave this on and then when I get the stems or the multi-tracks, I'm like, why doesn't this sound like the rough mix? And then I end up having to sit there and, and fix it. And it's like, what the hell? So you want to make sure that it's off. You follow these exact steps. Export cycle range only. Wave 32-bit. Include volume and pan automation. Normalize. Off. Bam. You're done. This is it. This is how you do it. Now it's going to sound exactly the same as how you had it in your session and your rough mix. So the mix engineer doesn't have to sit there and try to match the original two track that you sent. And um, it's going to be a lot easier on your mix engineer because he's probably going to charge you extra if he has to redo all that stuff. So uh, yeah, export and you're done. Cool.